And right now it's time to show you this morning's headlines from around the globe. The Toronto Star says that Mayor Rob Ford plans to file re-election papers this morning. The city council stripped Ford of much of his power after he admitted to smoking crack, but the recent polls there show that Ford still enjoys strong support. The election is in October. The Hollywood Reporter remembers James Avery. He played Uncle Phil opposite Will Smith on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The popular sitcom ran for six seasons in the 1990s. He died of complications from open heart surgery. James Avery was 68 years old. The Washington Post looks at the birth of twins who will not share a birthday or even the same birth year. Lorraine Bagazzo arrived at 11.58 p.m. on Tuesday, December 31st. Her brother Brandon followed three minutes later. He was born at 12.01 a.m. yesterday, January 1st, 2014. It happened in Toronto, too. Uh, the New Orleans, uh, uh, wrong story, sorry. The, the New Orleans Sun says actor Brad Pitt's charity for Hurricane Katrina victims is under fire. Homes built by Make It Right have started rotting from the inside out. The wood turned gray and black. In some cases, mushrooms are growing from the timber. The houses are made from a glass and wood blend guaranteed to last 40 years. Pitt's charity is considered legal action against the lumber company. The Green Bay Press Gazette says at last check, there are still 7,500 unsold tickets left for Sunday's wild card playoff game between the Packers and the 49ers. If it doesn't sell out by this afternoon, the game will be blacked out on TV in Green Bay and in Milwaukee. And Britain's Telegraph shows us a royal selfie. Prince William surprised a schoolgirl by taking her phone and posing with her on Christmas. The girl went to the royal family's estate in Norfolk, England, hoping to catch a glimpse as they walked to church. Prince William said, you can't beat a good selfie on Christmas Day. I like that story. Oh, very nice. He's got a good sense of humor.